morning, good morning, how are we getting people joining? Hi Shanka. <laughs> Hi people. So welcome in today. We are starting a little bit later than normal. And I see Sabrina has joined. And here we go. Ah. Let's see if I can get Sabrina to join in. So she's my co-teacher for today. And it's going to be fun. Hi! Awesome. Hi. How are Hi. you doing? <laughs> good to I'm see you. It works. I'm so excited. <laughs> good, good, good. Me too. Me too. That's amazing. This works. We've managed to, uh, to work with the technology. <laughs> exactly. It's our first one doing a joint teaching as well. Yeah. Yeah. No, good. Same thing for me, actually. I've never taught with anyone before, so this is going to be exciting. Yeah, exactly. Good, good. I'm scared, guys. I don't know what she's going to do to me. So. <laughs> Well, I know that you're going to rock it. I know you're going to be able see. to do it super well, so that will be good. And um, let's see, I'm going to arrange a little bit here because I can see that you probably sure. won't be able to see the mat. So let's see how this works. And then and I think, oh yeah, I need to do the same thing on my side, but I can't do more than that. All right. First time teaching with a split screen. So we'll try yeah, so this You guys out. can see the mat. All good. Good. So lots of people joining in. I can see. That's wonderful. Let's move you guys. Morning, back. Saraya. Morning, Millis. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful. Lots of new names for me. So that's exciting <laughs> that we just. All right. So um, just to tell everyone what I have planned for today, we're gonna do a little bit of. So I like to teach for everyone who doesn't know me. I like to teach a mixture of sort of yoga, bar, Pilates, and things like that, which I know that Sabrina does. Exactly. <laughs> we like to throw things in. Um, so today's going to be a fun little Hi, mixture. Sarah, so yeah. So yeah. Um, shall we get started? Anything yep. more you want to add? No, I'm excited. No, let's see. Good. Sounds good. Right. Okay, let's do this. Let's go for it. <laughs> so let's see. We're going to come to the back of our mat. Okay. And I'm going to get everyone to lay down to start with. So come to lay down on your mat. Yeah, it looks like it's nice and sunny for you guys in England too. It's amazing. Yeah, such a good day. Such a difference to our moods, doesn't it? Exactly. Well, it would have been better if you could go out, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. We take what we get. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So to start off with, I want everyone to just go ahead, close your eyes, lay yourself down. And you're going to rest your right hand on your heart, your left hand on your abdominals. And we're just going to breathe a little bit here. So I just want you to notice where you're breathing. If it's that hand on your chest that's rising or if your abdominals are rising. And what's the speed at which you're breathing? So we're going to try to slow it down a little bit. So I want you to take a nice big breath in through your nose. Exhale out your mouth. Really it out. Good. Breathe it in. And breathe out. Good. All right, with your next inhale, really fill up all the spaces of your lungs. Breathe it in, breathe it in right to the very back. And then big lion sigh out. All right, from there, let's rest both of our hands onto our abdominals. You can go ahead and open your eyes a little bit, just come back into the room. And we're going to start to get that sense of connection through our abdominals. So as we're breathing in, inhaling through your nose, and then exhaling out through your mouth again, just start to feel that gentle lift of the belly button in towards your spine and upwards. So I like to think of the belly button coming up between your rib cage, And then I inhale, and I feel my rib cage widen on the mat. Exhaling feeling that sense of connection, and then back in, and then one more time, breathe in, breathe it out, all right, so from there, feeling good there, Sabrina, we're ready? Yep, I'm ready. Yeah, all right, so we're going to come into, I love the name of this exercise, dead bug, which we're <laughs> not going to be, we're just going to start to connect, so you're going to extend your arms up towards the ceiling. And the hands are in line with your shoulders. And just make sure that you're not taking your hands too narrow. They're just in line with shoulders. And then let's inhale, raise our arms up towards the sky. And as we exhale, drop the shoulders down. So they're sitting nice and heavy on that mat. Good. 
let's also now bring our right leg up in the air and then the left leg. So here, I like to go into an imprint, which means that my low back is pushing down into the mat, so I can feel that connection with the mat the whole time. And then what might happen is that our knees come closer towards us, so we're going to make sure that they are 90 degrees with the hips the whole time. And then from here, we're going to start moving into, eventually, alternate arm and leg reaches, but we're going to start arm by arm. And then by arm. So we're going to breathe, and as you exhale, we're going to reach our left arm overhead. Sorry. Yeah, and then bring it back in. That's fine. Left and right, whichever you want. <laughs> Good. And back in. Now go for the leg. So the left leg starts reaching away. Bring it back in. And then right leg. And back in. As we go through all of that one more time, each arm, each leg, we're going to start to think about what's happening in the back, what's happening as we extend our leg. Can we feel our abdominals engaging? Or is that going pressure going into the back? All right, so now from here, we go ahead and we do the alternate. So as I extend my left arm, my right leg reaches away, and you go as low as you can without feeling any pressure in your back. Draw it back in. Exhale, other side, and back in. And we're going to really start to think about that core connection here as we go. So you use the breath. Exhale the whole way as you extend. Inhale, back in. Exhale, reach away. Good, and back in. And breathe out. Sabrina, I don't know if you have any extra cues you want to throw into this that you'd like to think of while you're doing Um, not okay. really, no. I always just watch the, watch the leg because um, with some people, including me, especially if you had babies as well, somehow um, the legs don't go as low unless you tilt your lower back. So to, yeah. get, to keep the imprint, I can't go as low maybe as you do. Yeah, no, but that's good. That's great that you have that to throw in. So everybody is different. That's why it's so good that we, that we make sure of... Um, Working with our body range. All right, we're going to do one more each side and away, and then bring it back in and just hug your knees in towards your chest. So all of that, hopefully, you feel your core connected. We're going to start to add in some curl up now. So I want you to bring your legs back down onto the mat. Hands are going to come behind your head. And then I like to think of my shoulders as going as wide as possible. I lift my elbows up so I can see them in my side vision. And then this time, we're going to raise our heads. So we're going to take a breath in. As you exhale, nod your chin, chest. Feel that same core connection as you lift your head up and we look towards our hips. Here, just watch that your hips aren't tilting, so we try to keep the hips steady. And then we lower all the way down. Exhaling, curling up. Inhaling, lowering down. So curling up, head stays nice and heavy. Inhale, lower it down. So this is the start of our abs around. So we're going to start feeling them heating up if you're not already. And exhale, curl. And back down. And we're going to go four more. And we're going to add in those legs in a second. Three. And then two. And then one. And then lower back down. So for anyone who feels that that is enough for them, stay with that variation. But if you'd like to spice it up a little bit, we're going to go into leg lift at the same time. So as you exhale and curl up with your head, your right leg comes in towards you. And then as you inhale and head comes down, the foot comes back down. And then we go on the other side. So we're alternating legs, try to keep length in our waist as we're going through this. And back. Good. And down. Inhale, exhale. Good. And down. Really going for it here. And we're going to go for another four. So two more each side. And three. And two. Now one, let the left leg stay in the air. And then bring your right leg up to join. So here, this is when our clam curls, where she had a little bit of discussion about which one. Was <laughs> <laughs> so now I know. <laughs> no, no, no. But so I'm going to show my version. Maybe you can show your version afterwards. Yeah, myself. sure. So absolutely. Here. I'm going to have my hands behind my thighs. I'm going to curl up a little bit higher, and then my hands come behind my head. And then for me here, I stay with my head up, and I'm going to bring my knees to touch my elbows, and then bring it back down. So I stay here with this version. And then, Sabrina, would you like to show yours? Yep, and mine is slightly different in the sense that it goes to lower abs more. I think Cecilia's goes to upper abs a little bit. I come okay. onto my forearms, and then I tuck my pelvis under, and then bring the legs into tabletop one by one. Keep the feet together, open the knees wide. And from here, keep the pelvis tucked under the whole time. On your exhale, bring the legs down, 
inhale back chest up the whole time as well yeah i actually Perfect. quite like your version as well i have to say yeah. <laughs> i so think i'm going to try can... yours and you can do mine yeah <laughs> exactly all right so guys awesome. choose whichever version you like so we're gonna go let's go 10 and bring it up and let's go nine bring it up so i can feel this i really need to work on <laughs> back, <up. laughs> Down, back up all right so i think we've got five more now because my counting is terrible so definitely feeling up. it let's do four <laughs> <laughs> let's go three and two all right one more time and then bring it all the way back up and relax it down so from here we're going to keep targeting the thumbs up so we're going to come into our classical plot series of five so bring your hands behind your thighs curl it up and we're going to start with our single leg stretch so let's go 10 of each uh rep so Perfect. we're going to bring our in so we go 10 nine Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Then double legs. So legs to get heels together for me and knees slightly wider. Inhale, extend away. Exhale, draw it back in. Extend away, back in, and extend away. I don't know why I said ten of these ones, but we're gonna go. I know, this. right? We're at four. <laughs> I'm counting. All right. And halfway there, five, and four, three. Two, and then one, bring it back in. Scissors brace, so bring it center like yep. that. Yeah, and go, and keep going here. So really give yourself that little bit of a stretch as the leg comes in. That's five, four, three, two, one, and then legs together up into your hands behind your head. And we're gonna lower those legs down and lift it up. Again, another one, I don't know why we're doing 10, but we're How many are we doing, is it 10? <laughs> right? <laughs> We're going to curl into a little ball and we're going to go into rocking like a ball. So we're going to make our way up into seated. So we're going to roll it up and back. Just massage that spine. And oh, <laughs> one more. <laughs> All right, this time we want everyone to hold it to balance. Maybe lift your legs up and then just cross your legs and make your way through into a vinyasa again how are we all how is your abdominals feeling out here okay <laughs> burning i'm feeling it <laughs> i'm feeling it too <laughs> good <laughs> we're in it together <laughs> we're in it our interview you guys as well i think it helps that we're laughing so that you really get that core connection all right <laughs> so from here we're gonna work our way into a downward facing dog but let's just stretch it out a little bit so i want you to exhale come into a cat and round your back and then inhale, lift your heart and stick your sit bones out. Feel that nice abdominal stretch right there. Exhale, tuck it under. Inhale, lengthen forward. And then one more time, into a cat. Into cow, lift your heart. And then we're going to make our way back up into downward facing dog. So tuck your toes under, press up and back. First downward dog, let's be kind and gentle. So if you need to, bend your knee. And then just walk through your feet here. So pressing down, good. And exhale, nice. Great. All right, we're gonna come into a vinyasa. So in a second, I want you to raise both heels up, big breath in. Exhale them up, drop the heels down. And we're gonna look forward. We're gonna roll through our spine, come all the way forward. So let's drop our knees for the first one and just exhale, lower yourself all the way down onto your mat. From here, hands come about the width of your mat. Separate your feet and push them down to feel your legs active. And then we come up into a cobra. So nice and gentle baby cobra first. If it feels good, come up 
and just give us a stretch for the abdominals. All right. Then from there, come up and back into a downward facing dog. And here we are going to work through a little bit of a flow. So I want you to step your legs together and we're gonna start with the left leg in the air. So take a breath in. Out to exhale, sweep that left leg up into the air. And we're gonna open the hips to the left. So we're coming into our scorpion. So you're gonna bend your knee and feel as if you're bringing your toes towards your shoulder. But try to keep the shoulder square to the front of the mat. Then exhale, we draw that knee in to the opposite side and we're gonna pivot our back leg so that we can step that leg out to the side and we're here again. All right, arm extended to the ceiling. Now from here, we're gonna go three times. We're gonna drop that hip. So we're gonna drop the hip to the floor, lift it up. Drop it to the floor, lift it up. Get one more time, down, mm -hmm. up, and then bring the hand back. Swivel your leg back and up here once more in your three-legged dog, and then bring it all the way back down. All right, all good on that side? Yep, perfect. We're gonna, do... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side, so lift your right leg up. Open up the hip, bend that knee. Breathe in, big stretch here. And then as you exhale, draw the knee in and across. Step it out. And we lift our hips up, arm extended. Again here, three drops down, up, down, up. One more time, down, up. Hand comes all the way down and we swing it all the way back and drop it down here. Let's do that one, one more time each side. So left leg comes up in the air, open the hips. Bend that knee, try to keep your hips, uh, sorry, your shoulders parallel. And then bring the leg across and step it out here. Good, all right, three of those hip drops. So we go down, lift, down, lift, down, lift. Hand comes down, swivel the leg up and back, drop it down, second side, weight leg up in the air. Open the hip, big, big stretch for the hips. Bend the knee and then slowly draw it in and across. Step the leg across, other arm up towards the sky. We lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, and the hand comes down, leg comes back up in the air, and the legs join each other, and we're gonna go for a vinyasa. So exhale, roll it forward, bend your elbows, lower down, inhale, lift up, big, big stretch here. All right, let's sit back into child's pose and just stretch it out for a second, breathing in and out, and stretching out huh, here. So we've got another flow coming up now. We're gonna roll through the spine, come back up. So this one, we're gonna do one side first and then we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next. Good, all right, so from here, hands directly below your shoulders, square, spread out your fingers. And we're gonna tuck those toes under and lift up and back into our downward facing dog. So we're going to, in a second, come forward into a chair pose. So go ahead, bend your knees, just look forward, and then step the left leg forward all the way to the top of your mat, and then bring your right leg to join and hold it here. So we're sitting down nice and low into a low little squat here. Your toes are together, your heels are slightly apart, and then raise your arms up and lift up here. Yeah, all right, so let's see. So from here, let's sink a little bit lower. Let's get those quads active. Squeeze your knees together and really squeeze that glute. So from here, I'm like, <laughs> Steady. 
swivel that leg back in a half circle and then drag it forward. Swivel around, back forward, swivel. Not very slippery back. here, but. <laughs> huh? I should be, I should be wearing socks here. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> we can lift it if we like, but. Yes, exactly. I have to lift mine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do three, two, one. That standing like leg. <laughs> burning in this leg, in the standing leg, I hope. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Bring it forward. So we just reverse it. And this side, I always find it's a little bit harder for me to keep myself still. All right, we're gonna go four and three, two, and then one. Bring that leg back, lean forward slightly, bend this leg so the foot comes to the back of the calf. And then from here, we push the knee back and back and back. So slightly opening up the side as I get and press back. So. <laughs> my left foot is starting to feel it from the stabilization. I'm yes, right same here. <laughs> All right, we're almost going to come out of it in a second. It's going to feel so good, but I want you to go for five more here. And you've got three. Sorry, no, not three. <laughs> Two. All right, one. And then take a giant step back and we come into a warrior. One. Whew, that feels good for that front leg. <laughs> I sink it down. Back foot is 45 degrees. Hips are squared to the front of the mat. And just extend your arms up and stretch it out here, breathing in. Whew. Let's breathe out, let's extend our front leg and just give it a little bit of a stretch. Coming down. And then from there, you're gonna pivot so that you face towards me. So we're in a second position here. So the heels are facing inwards, toes are pointing out here, and the hands on our hips. And just sink down a little bit. Let's give it a little bit of a stretch, come down and across, good. And twist, and twist. Uh, Love this one. <laughs> this is a nice one. This is the good yeah. one. All right. Now we're going to add in a little bit of cardio. We're going to go for a second to a knee tap. So I'll show you very quickly what that looks like. So I'm down here. I tap, down, tap, down, tap. All right. So we're going to come into it. So everyone sink down nice and low. Get yourself ready. We're going to start towards the, this way. So for me, that's right. So you're ready. No, I don't. Tap, down, tap, down. Tap, down. So we find our balance. Good. Press through that standing leg. Nice. And reach. Good. Keep going. So let's go a little bit deeper here. So down, up, down, up, down, up. Five, four, three, two, one. Land in that position right here. And then we're going to repeat everything but that facing that way. So everyone swivel to face the backs of your mat. Bring it down. And we're going to sweep it back and we're going to come down into the vinyasa. Lift yourself up, breathing in. Breathe out, come back into a downward facing dog and hold it here. Good. So this time it's going to be our right leg, which is the standing leg. So let's take a nice big breath in. Exhale, drop the heels more towards the floor. Let's look forward. And we're going to bring our right foot forward first. first. So bring it in and then look forward. Step left leg together. Good. I'm going to move back so I can stay in the screen. <laughs> From here. So we're sitting down nice and low. Squeeze the big toes together. Heels slightly apart. And then we lift up. And we hold it here. Good. Nice. All right. Let's shake the shoulders out a little bit. They tend to get tense. And then reach your arms forward. So we're going to go for a couple of pulses here. Well, I'm so sorry, but we're going to go down and up. <laughs> up. Down. Up. Down. Up. And two. And then one. And then now, so right leg, standing leg, your left leg is extended in front of you. So we're gonna go for those leg sweeps. So the legs can come back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, and bring. Good, nice. So hands either on hips or in front of you, whatever works best for you. And I'm already feeling my right leg kicking in. Go for it. Three, two, and then when that leg stays forward, we're gonna go for the jump. So you're gonna bring the leg back and forward. So it's back and forward. And here. Good. All right, and bring it around and around. Can we go a little bit lower in that standing leg? <laughs> we'll try. <laughs> Amazing. All right, we're gonna do it the other way around. So bring your leg forward, circle, bring it back. I think I've done forward. it the other way, sorry. All right. 
That's fine. So whichever version you're in, just go ahead and go the other way right now. It doesn't matter which one. We got five. As long as you do both. <laughs> yeah, as long as you do both sides, exactly. Okay, two. One, bring that leg back. You bend the knee in. You bring so that the toe is touching your ankle. We go for that pulse. And lift. And lift. Good. And press. So the knee goes slightly away here. We squeeze that glute. Bring it up. Bring it up. Good. And five more. Four. Three. Two. One giant step back into your warrior one. And just drop it down. Good. Arms come up. We breathe in here. Uh, exhale, sink down a little bit lower. And then extend that front leg and bring it down. Extend that front leg and then bring it down. And then again, twist back to face towards me. We're going to do those taps again. And we're going to end up facing that way. But we're just going to stay here a little bit more in the middle just to stretch out, but also to work the inside thighs. So I'm sorry, Sabrina, I'm throwing something on you that I didn't tell you before. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. so we're just gonna I'll go with it. it. <laughs> and lift. And see. And lift. There we go. Good. Now, the thing is, you have your revenge next time when we teach. So you I was control. just thinking about that. <laughs> there will be a revenge. Exactly. Oh, God. All right. So now, how's everyone else doing? Everyone doing okay here? Can we feel those inside thighs, those glutes? We're going to go three. Two, one. Now I want everyone to stay low. Lift your right heel, drop it down. Left heel, drop it down. I do love these, I have to say. <laughs> they are so good. They turn like tone yes. so well. And they burn. <laughs> like, exactly. It's that sweet, sweet burn. All right, we're going to go four. Wow. <laughs> three, two, one. All right, let's raise the right heel. Hold it up. Raise the left heel. Hold it up. Drop the right heel. Drop the left. Raise the right, left, right, left, two more, down, one more, good, and down, and then straighten those legs, pivot to the front of your mat, and we bring our hands down, bring it back, exhale, lower down, Ooh, and then lift yourself all the way up, breathing in here, exhale, let's go back into your child's pose and just stretch that for a second, Ooh, feeling good? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's roll it forward. Let's do a little bit of a stretch for those parts. So we're going to bring our left foot up between our hands, reach forward to stretch out through there here. So for me here, I always think to kind of hold back a little bit on my range. So I actually like to be here much more than I'm all the way down here just to feel that activity. And I'm trying to square my hips off. Well, I here. also like tucking the pelvis under here for Agreed, agreed. So we tuck that pelvis under so you feel a little bit more. And then come all the way down. Let's swap those legs. So bring it back. Bring your right leg forward. And lift them. There. Yeah. All right. Now I can hear you. Okay, yeah, I was thinking, I think I lost you. Audio. Sorry. Not sure what happens. Okay. All right. Bring it forward. Get a holding that stretch. Feels so good right now. And then bring it all the way down. And then just sit back one more time into a child's pose. Stretch out and breathe in. Breathe out. Come all the way back up. And then come to lay so that you can face towards the screen. We're going to go into a little bit of side lying here. So we're going to start with our arms. So have your feet kind of in line. So the heels, I use the back edge of my mat as alignment. So I put my heels at the back end. I put my hip there. Then I slide my arm down and lay down like this. Cool. Right, now we're going to swap those hands around. So this hand is actually going to come around here and hold your waist. There. Good. Yeah. Just take it. Perfect. Good. Excellent. So bottom arm is wrapped around. Uh, top arm is in front of you. So from here, we're going to work that tricep, that isolation. So we're going to take a breath in. As I said, we're going to press all the way up. And then we're going to slow, slow, slow. Come down, come down, come down. And ease burn. The arm so much lift up and nice and slow down 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 and lift good and bring it down 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 we're gonna go four more bring it down 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 and three and bring it down slow 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 go two 
Awesome, you got one more. So inhale, <laughs> exhale, press it up. Nice and slow, bring it all the way down. And extend that arm up and just go for a nice big stretch here. All right, opposite arm, hold it down. And then this hand is in front of us now. So we're gonna go into side lying leg. So we're gonna start it with oysters and then we're gonna extend our legs as well. So you're gonna be here. And if you prefer, obviously you can have your head supported like this, whatever is your preference. But I quite like being down here for now. So again, heel stay aligned with the hips. We inhale as big we turn the leg up, down, up, down, and squeeze. So it's that wrapping sensation of the glutes. Good, inhale, exhale, turn, press, and press. So I know we work the glutes, but it's just nice to keep them going a little bit here. And press. Four more, then we're gonna hold that oyster. And two, one, hold it at the top. Now tiny, tiny pose without moving the hip here. So the hip stays steady. Press up, 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 up. All right, let's go. Four, three, two, one. Bring the leg down, but extend it forward. All right, so from here, I'm gonna support my head like this. Really flexing that foot. We lift the leg up 45 degrees, bring it down. Lift, down. Lift and lift. So we try to raise it with the heel, the highest, and lift. Lift and lift. All right, let's go for another six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold that leg in the air, turn it up, down, up, down. So a little windshield wiper action going on here, and we really get that fine tuning of the glutes. And we're gonna go four, three, two, one, bring it down and tap that glute out. Good. All right, before we go over to the other side, we're just gonna do one more exercise here. So this knee comes forward, so you're lying slightly forward. That bottom leg extends, so we're gonna work that inside thigh here now. So bottom leg extends, you flex your foot. We're gonna lift the leg up, drop it down, lift it up, down, up, down, good, and lift, and lift, and press, and press. I personally love the sideline series because I feel like you're a little bit getting a rest as you're doing it. Why <laughs> <laughs> <Maybe> not? <laughs> but, yeah, I love it as well, I have to agree. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those like Netflix exercises you can do. Right? <laughs> but you get the burn plus a little rest. Like, oh yeah, yeah, rest. it works. Absolutely. All right, we've got five, four, Three, two, one, now hold that leg in the air. So that inside thigh is still working. Just point your toes, flex, point, flex, point, flex. You get a little bit of abdominals working as well. We got five, four, three, two, one. Bring the leg down. And then come to sit up. Bring that leg that was on top, bring it across the other and just give yourself a little bit of a glute stretch. So I go with opposite hands. So my right leg was working. I'm gonna bring my left arm across and then flex to the right. Good, and breathing in. And this is always the point where you kind of regret that you have two sides. So we have to do the second side of course. So we're gonna bring our legs around and then I'll leave. So bring your legs to the other side and lay yourself down and just uh, find your good position. So hips in line with heels, shoulders in line with hips. And then we're gonna start with those arms again. So my bottom arm wraps around my waist, my front top hand comes right in front of my chest. And then from here, so we're gonna take a breath in. As you said, press it up, and then nice and slow. So for me here, I really separate my fingers and I kind of grip them out with my fingers to get more stability. And lower down, down, down. Press it up. Good, and down, 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 down. Press up, good, and down. So really working that tricep. Lift it up, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. We're gonna go five, bring it down, slow, and four. And this is harder for me because this is my left side, so I don't know why I said five. <laughs> <laughs> and down, 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 and go three. You got two. And on our front <laughs> huh? Thank God for that. <laughs> Someone's pulling on my hips, so I have that length for my waist here as well as the knee. 
and then hand over to you. So we go for oysters, so turning up, and up, good. Up. And squeezing that glute as you turn it up. It's good, and press. Nice, and lift. Lift, and lift. Right. And we're gonna keep going for another six, then we're gonna hold it at the top. So now four, three, two, one, and then hold that leg up in the air and just pulse it, pulse it, pulse it, and get that contraction of the glute. So the muscle is kind of almost like it's going into a spasm to push your knee up. And press, press, five, four, three, two, one, bring it down, but just extend that front leg and then leg stiffens. Again, your heel leads the movement and down. Heel leads the movement, down. Lift, good, and lift. To get all of that outside of the glute, and we lift, lift here. Get and press, nice, then press. And we're going to go forward, then we're going to hold that leg in the air. Three, two, one, hold the leg in the air. We go that windshield wiper action, and we turn up, and turn. And the movement is coming all the way from the hip. Good, and four, three, two, two, and one, bring it down. Tap the glutes out and then bring the knee forward. Good. Extend your bottom leg. We're just going to go for that inside thigh. And then we've got stretches. So we're almost there. So let's go. We lift the leg up and down. Lift, down. Lift, and down. Press. And for me, it's the same thing here. I kind of lead the movement with my heels. So toes are almost pointing downwards. And lift, lift, lift. And getting that side off the ground. Good. Let's keep it going here. Five more. And four, three, two, one. Hold that leg in the air. So you lift up your whole two legs like that. You point, flex, point, flex, point, flex. Good. And press through. All right. And five, four, three, two, one. And bring it down. Good. All right, and then come all the way up and we stretch on the other side. So we bring, for me, my left leg across, twist around, please the other way. Ooh, that feels so good after all of that. <laughs> and twist. All right. Cool, and then we're coming into my favorite part of every workout, stretching out. <laughs> so we're going to come into four point kneeling. And hands directly below your shoulders. Tuck the toes under, press it up and back. Go into a downward facing dog just for a second here. You're really breathing and finding length. Exhaling out. Relaxing the head, relaxing the jawline. And then roll forward into a plank. And just go ahead and bring, if comfortable, your right knee to your right thigh. And we're going to go back into a pigeon pose here. So for anyone doing this at home and they know that this isn't good for their knee, you can always do this lying on your back so that you bring your knee in towards your chest. I'm gonna come down onto my elbows here ah, and just stretch. Or you can go all the way down, whichever feels good. So breathing in and breathing out. So <laughs> are you already starting to plot where you're gonna put me through next time, Sabrina? <laughs> I'm thinking, yes. <laughs> Nobody was awesome. I feel really good. And Definitely feel the burn still. <laughs> Definitely feeling the burn. Good. That's the point yeah. of all of this. We want to bring, we want to feel a little bit of burn, but we also want to get people happy and get them moving good. So come all the way up. And then from here, so rock so that your hip is down on the ground and then bring your back leg up and over just like we were in that position before. So we say twist, looking over our left shoulder, finding length, breathing in. Breathe out, let's go the other way and twist. So I go opposite, I bring my elbow to the inside of me and I twist. And sometimes here you can get like a satisfying crack. Good, and then come back. So this leg is gonna come back like this. So we're gonna go into mermaid. So I'll just twist so that I'm faced towards the camera and you can go ahead and do the thing. Good, all right, so hands down beside you, slightly in front of you. Inhale, lift up with your left arm. Exhale, go down and stretch. 
I don't know what it is about mermaid, but I think it might even just be the name, but it's one of my favorite stretches, I think. I was just about to say the same thing. It's my favorite stretch, I think. Yeah, yeah. I see hearts, so I'm going to guess it's lots of other people's <laughs> as well. Yeah, maybe it's the name. Yeah, I think it's that. Anything that brings us, like, those mermaid vibes, I think it's nice. <laughs> stretch it over, bring it down, and then just go for this big, big stretch here. Stretch out. And then exhale, come all the way up. Now go this way. My left hand's gonna come to my right knee. And I'm gonna look up towards the ceiling and go a little bit deeper. So big stretch here again. And then come all the way back. And then we're gonna come back to do the other side. So just swing yourself around so you can come up into a downward facing dog. Press up and back. Look forward, this time the left knee to the left wrist. Slide it back and lower it down. All right, and then again, coming down to your version of pigeon. And I can't you... remember if I had my right or left in front last time, but I was <laughs> instructions, so I'm gonna go with you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, negative of being a teacher, we're always end up stretching the same side. I feel because we tend to show. <laughs> All right, breathing and breathing out, folding down a little bit more. And we come all the way back up. So again, we drop the hip down and the right leg comes over, or whichever leg goes behind you comes over the other one. We twist to the right. Done. Stretching out. And then back to center and twist the other way. So really opening up. And then let's come back and let's do the mermaid on the other side. So. Top leg comes behind, I'm going to flip, so I'm facing this way. And then we're going to inhale, we're going to reach upwards, we're going to fold this way, so exhale, go over. And bring it all the way back up. And stretch, good. I think there's something also about like that mental connection as you're stretching out your sides and just enjoying it, getting that a little bit of satisfactory smile as well. <laughs> Um, brightens your day, brightens your mood. <laughs> Stretch out. Exactly. And the fact that there's a flow as well. It's nice to yeah. flow, I think. Absolutely. There's some. I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering, I thought it's my internet, maybe. <laughs> no, 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 it's just me with my terrible battery life on my phone. It's <laughs> right. <laughs> and we come all the way back up, and we're going to go for this way. And then your right hand is here, we twist up towards the ceiling, breathing in. Breathing out, come all the way back. And then from here, just swing your legs around so that you're facing forward. We're going to make our way back down. I like to start and finish the same way. So hands behind. And then we're going to slowly, slowly, with control, lower ourselves all the way down onto the mat. Lower, lower, lower. Good, great control there. Lower all the way down. And then hug your knees in towards the chest and rock from side to side. So massaging out the spine. And then let's bring our feet down on the ground, arms extended out to the side. So let's bring our knees to the right, head to the left. And then all the way back, inhale, exhale, twist it over the other way. Yeah. And then bring it all the way back in. So now from here, we're just going to bring those knees in. So, and we're gonna curl our head up and we're gonna tighten every single muscle in the body. So we get lots and lots of tension in the body, even that face, so scrunch it up into a tight little grimace. And then breathe it in. And as you exhale, extend those legs. <sighs> and let yourself come down. Close those eyes for a second. And just completely relax. So, breathing in, breathing out, coming back to that breath, just like we did in the beginning. Noticing how the breath is moving through your body, allowing your forehead to melt, allowing the corners of your mouth to pull up into a gentle smile, feeling how that relaxes your shoulders, your arms, and really allow yourself to draw deep into yourself and letting your body go completely. Feeling that sense of heaviness through the back of your body. While also feeling a sense of lightness through the front of your body. Mentally, emotionally feeling free, feeling uplifted. 
I'm feeling really proud of all that you've done today, of all that you have achieved in this workout, and allowing that sense of pride to carry with you for the rest of the day. Feeling your breath just deepen, feeling it relax. And then gently, big breath in through the nose. And exhale out your mouth. Inhale again. Exhale out your mouth. And then one more time, big, big breath in, inhaling all the goodness of the world. Exhaling out all the negative. And gently beginning to wiggle your toes, your fingers. And then stretch your arms above your head. Big, full body breath. Really enjoying the sensation of stretching out your body. Exhale, relax. Drawing your knees in towards your chest. And let's roll onto our right side to make our way back up into a seated position. And if you can, keep your eyes closed as we come up. Legs are crossed or however feels good. And then just taking a second, finding your balance, feeling that length through the spine. Breathing in, breathing out here for a second. And then I like to finish with connecting with the centers of our body. So we're going to inhale and sweep our arms above our head. Let the hands come together in a prayer position just above your head. And that's it. Do you feel a little bit of energy between the palm of your hands? Draw the hands down so that the knuckles of your thumbs connect with the middle of your forehead. Igniting our third eye chakra, chakra that sees with wisdom, connects with our intuition, and allow this connection to connect you with your path ahead, to connect you with the days ahead, allowing you to just feel positive, joyous, and hopeful for what's to come. Bring your hands down next to connect with your lips and allow this to represent your throat chakra. And just allow it to ignite the words that you speak today to be filled with love, with kindness, both towards yourself and towards those around you. And always speaking your truth, leading the way gently from your heart. And then bring your hands down to your heart. Really dig those knuckles into your heart center, right in the middle of your chest. Allow this area to open up. Carry yourself forward throughout the day with an open heart, filled with love and kindness, with a proud heart that knows what it wants, that knows what is true for itself and always, always stays true to itself. And we breathe in. Exhale out. And gently come back into the room. Well done, everyone. Thank you, Sabrina. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was amazing. <laughs> it was so nice to do this with you. And I hope everyone else enjoyed it. How are we feeling? Who have we got? <laughs> so super wonderful to have everyone join in. Um, my glutes are feeling it for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, same here. <laughs> Absolutely. Good, good, good. Well, um, so I guess for good, Rebecca was here. Wonderful. Thank you guys. You're very welcome. <laughs> <laughs> um, so for me, um, we will be doing this again next week, hopefully. Yep. Um, and then Sabrina will be putting me through <laughs> my paces. <laughs> so Let's see. <laughs> yeah. Um, and for anyone who wants to join, I'm doing a live again tomorrow at 10.30 uh, my time, which is Central European time, which is 9.30 yeah. UK time. And then Sabrina, you're doing something as well. 10.30 right? UK time. So right off. 10.30. Yes, so you can do double. Which double. Is <laughs> <laughs> Why yeah. not? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Guys, thank you everyone who's joined thank in. Thank you for joining. <laughs> See everyone. New faces for me. And thank same you. here. <laughs> thank you guys. Have a lovely day. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. See you soon. Bye, Sabrina. Bye. Say hi to everyone. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. Okay, bye bye. I'll talk to you. Bye. <laughs>